I am taking another break from <sighs> work. And I'm going to play. I decided to use coastal water. Got to be careful, otherwise I'm going to have to re sew everything if I get paint on it. I'm sewing and I'm taking a break because I am tired of it. Again. <laughs> so I have so much stuff to do. It's crazy. So I'm using coastal waters. I'm going to use some white. And my paints are. I'm using Deck Art uh, Multi -sur Satin Surface. And I'm just kind of sprinkling paint everywhere. And I'm going to make another washi roll. Um, and this time I'm going to use some stencils. And I thought I'd be making a total different color and have a few colors that I like together and that kind of thing. So I have choices. Color choices. Okay, you look quiet there over there. Anyway, so I did the same thing where I take my washi or my masking tape from the dollar store across my um, self-adhesive. But it's across a piece of plastic, so it's not. I'm not having to wash my self adhesive board all the time, and it stays flat. So when I want to, I have to move it closer to a plug-in for me to dry it. For one, that's and it just stays nice and flat and straight, and it's not moving everywhere. So I'm just kind of catching what I've got an ex excessive paint somewhere here, and I'm just putting it, spreading it to where I don't have excessive paint, just to get all the color everywhere and decided to go with the uh, coastal wires and the uh, and the uh, cotton tail I think it is yes cotton ball close enough cotton ball today this time and I'm just gonna play with it a little bit more what I did with my other ones is I put the paint the tape across the turtle tank. I have a huge turtle tank and it's just gonna I'm gonna let it sit there and it's just glass, it's not gonna ruin anything and it will um, cure there and then I can roll it because I find if I roll it a little bit damp or whatever it's just gonna stick to itself and then my beautiful work is not gonna be you know pretty. So if you have a window or something that you're not using and or it doesn't bother you to give it a wipe after you're not too particular, just let it cure on there somewhere, or even like a, a picture frame glass thing, something like that, and just set it up. You can even leave a whole picture frame with a bunch of little washi tapes across it and have it just as display and then use them as you need them. So what I thought I'd do today, for something a little different on this one, I would do my stencil using my deco art stencil and using some faces here, and I'm just going to use my... Um, baby wipe to get it in there and I'm just going to use the eyes so I'm going to use um, trying to figure out what I want to do. There goes the bird. I'm just going to use the eyes and for this one I'm going to be a little careful where I go and I'm just going to dab my eyes on and I'm not going to do the eyebrows I'm just going to do the eyes and there's a lot of new um, washi tapes with eyes and lips and that kind of thing. So that's where I'm going with this one, kind of using that design. And just going to use, I'm just going to use the, um, right there, isn't that pretty? I'm going to show you guys how very pretty that is. And you can use the Posca pens to put more, where is it, detail on it. Flipping it around. Isn't that cute? I'm going to go across the one washi tape. I'm going to be a little bit more careful with it this time, right? Than my last, um, my last one. So, just very careful. Using my baby wipe. I'm just dabbing it. Just using that as a dabber, my baby wipe. It's not like it's been used to wipe up my hands and that kind of thing. And I'm not putting tons and tons of paint on it, just enough to give it a feel. And it's got an inky look to it. You guys can see my in the view. And it gives you that same feeling as um, I think some of those 
really nice washies have that are coming out. And you can add color or whatever too. If you feel like you want color, I think it gives you a mysterious washi. So I'm just being a little bit more careful, like I said, and getting just the eyes purposely right in there so I can have that design. This is a really fun swap idea too if your friends have different stencils and you want to do something like this. And it's just relaxing. A little bit more control over what you're doing. And I think it's fun. It's okay. Sometimes things when you're being careful, it's not stressful. You're just being a little careful and I find it still relaxing. So that is the black. I'm just going to use my the rest of my baby wipe to wipe that up and you guys can see how neat that looks I know it's upside down right now and I'm not recording normally I'm gonna flip to another spot and I'm gonna grab some lips and I got some lipstick you guys use whatever color you love I love lipstick I love lipstick it's one of my favorite colors of red in Americana. That one didn't go too well, but I think I got some red back here, that's why. But it's just washy, it doesn't matter if it's perfect. So even if you got your first couple pieces not so perfect, you just gotta play with it. Get less there we go. Get less um, red on there. And that's the nice thing about using the um, baby wipe, especially one that you've been using already. It doesn't pick up too much color. It doesn't have to match the eyes too. It's just that's my roll of lips I'm doing now. And if I was more careful too, I'd probably get them a little better. I'm not putting them down as careful as I should. Just like that. I can grab my other lip here too. Maybe I'll grab that one. Doesn't got nothing behind it. <laughs> No red behind my stencil on that side. There we go. Some pretty red lips. And even though I'm not using the full, like I put too much paint on this end here. Looks cute. So I'm going to try the other eyes right here and see how they look. Maybe I'll do them a few down so then I'm not spreading. But that's how you just play with it. So I'm not spreading the uh, smearing what I just did up there. Dabbing it on, dabbing it off. And there goes my kids with the toaster oven. That eye just doesn't look as pretty as the first set. It would go nicely with the whole lips and nose and brow, but so then you just go with what you like. I'm going to go back with this one. Yeah, it's much prettier. It's just got some of the detail with the eye that really makes it look nice on its own. I think it's a way better eye. Mm -hmm. So, there we go. And I got lots of um, 
paint on my wife still. You don't have to use half too much when you're doing something like this. Sure makes your paint go further. Let's show you guys what I got. Cute. I like them better than the first couple on this row. And there's my other row. And of course they're going to be separated, so it's not. It looks kind of wonky with all the lips down there. So I'm just making more. I'm using a different stencil now. This is one with like Charlie Chapman type thing on there. It's from Deco Art. I don't know which one it is. So if you, I got the link below to for Deco products, and you can look at all the stencils, and it'll have it on there. And that's the real one, anyways. It's like the real or. Charlie Chapman, and you can't really see too much detail, but it's fun, and it's just enough color on there. When you play around with it enough, you'll get just right, but it's just enough color on there to have a different washi that you like. Oh boy, so there's a bit of Charlie Chapman's uh, silhouette on there, and I know it's upside down, but and the kids are making noise or a child. I'm going to go on to the next washi and do a little red rub. And then I'm going to try to see if I can do a little black rub. Nothing melted underneath the food. It's perfectly okay, fine. And then. It's just rubbing and playing. It can get underneath, but it's, I'm not trying to be too perfect with it. Just trying to get some color and have a little pattern. Just something a little different for this washi. So I'm going with the black and the red so far, and I'm liking that. And, yeah. Using my stencils in a different way. I would normally probably not be just... Uh, doing it like this. Let's see here if I can get back into the picture. And I'm adding a little black to the next one here. Let's see, am I doing it right? There we go. I'm rubbing a little bit in there. <laughs> just getting a little bit. And just a little bit comes through. And I don't have to be perfect about it. That's the nice thing. You don't have to be perfect about it. See? Each piece is going to be unique. There we go. Come back to another one, maybe. And there we go. Just some fun stencils. You could do your eyes, make them look so mysterious, and have a roll of that on your washi tape. I was also thinking about drawing some eyes. If you're in a doodle mood, to doodle some eyes across the roll or some lips. Practice some parts, eyes and lips, see if you can get them, you know, the way you want them, and then just keep going with it. But the stenciling makes it really fun and easy. And the more imperfect the stencil, if it's not even like this is not perfectly on there, but it looks really cool. I like it. You get a messy look, but you get a really neat look at the same time, too. I think I'm going to do one more roll of these. I'll be back when I get them all done. This is the, let me show you, there's a shadow, the shadow, but that is my washies, and I'm going to take them apart, they're really dry, so they might be drying too, my 
plastic here, which would not be good. So I gotta take it apart and not tear them. But I took some time on doing these ones. I was taking my time. But you don't want to leave them dry too long, then the paint kind of sticks to the sides like this. And then I'm just going to um, put them on my. Oh. I'm going to put them onto my turtle tank to let them dry. That's what I'm going to do. So I made some lips. I made some stenciled white, just so I have some white and the teal coastal waters, I think it is. And I got some lips. Not yet. Thanks, Tora. And some eyes. Here we go. And I'm just going to do that. I'm just going to take them all out and I'm going to let them just really dry really, really well on the turtle tank because it's nice clear glass. I hope you guys like that and I hope you can see it. Let's see here. Ugh, it's so far away. There, that's better. So much better. Isn't that nice? Cute little stencils. And then you could just do whatever on the one problem about doing videos upstairs you got birds and dogs Ugh. oh my there we go so I did this one with the colors of red the, the um, white and the teal or I don't know white gets kind of color but the teal and the white and the red and the black so I think it looks really neat So, I think I'm going to leave you guys with that. And I hope you guys had fun with watching me do some of these. And try out your own washi tapes. I think the eyes are really neat. So, don't be crap like a duck, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye. Mm -hmm.